23-year-old YouTuber, social media influencer, and traveler Miles Rutledge was taken captive by Taliban around January, along with two others, and has since been allegedly held for further questioning. Rutledge, who goes by his social media handle, Lord Miles, still is not known for sure to be safe. Considering that the two other prisoners, Adrian Wojcik, 22, and Roman Bilski, 24, have been allowed to make unscripted emotional phone calls home to their loved ones. But Miles' mother, Susan Rutledge, is distraught and desperate to know if her son is safe. Taliban's General Directorate of Intelligence hasn't released any official statements about the detainees, but there have been recent tweets from Lord Miles' Twitter. The lengthy thread's main tweet was coupled with an older picture of Miles, leading the public to be skeptical of the unknown author of the tweet's claims of Miles' well-being, with no new pictures to back the posts up. This isn't his first time in Afghanistan. Miles once said, I googled the 10 most dangerous countries in the world, and then I used that as a shopping list. At the top was Afghanistan. His other antics he publishes on his channel include trespassing, crossing borders illegally, and other international crimes. Guised as a journalist or a photographer, and calling himself a danger tourist, while using funds from Patreon to travel. The past year he's been tweeting about selling Taliban contraband well around the time of his capture. It is understood Miles tends to goof off. It makes fun of endangerment. But the humor in his posts online isn't quite the same. It seems to be written by someone impersonating his unique sense of humor. There is an apparent shift in his spirituality online. He was typically pretty candid about neo-traditionalist Christian values before but now he is interested in reading the Quran and wearing Muslim headwear. The most concerning part with the recent string of tweets made on July 17th is its ending with an open bid to sell his story, minimum 5,000 euros to highest bidder, and payment given to Miles upon his return home. The question is if he doesn't know they're doing this, as the author writes, why do they have the authority to sell his story? And who will be giving the story? Hopefully we will see what more unfolds in the weeks to come.